So we're currently in, in a, a portion of Alex Township, it's called Swetla. It's an unplanned settlement. It's very formal, it's brick and it's concrete and, and it's proper roofs. Um, but there's very little infrastructure in the area. So there's quite a lot of electricity, um, lots of water availability, but there's absolutely zero sewage or sanitation in this, in this part. So grey water, you might see in some of the pictures, is the water that arises through our everyday activities not including the toilet. So it's like cooking, cooking water, it's things like um, wash water. So all the water, most of the washing in this area is done by hands and buckets and that water is tossed into the, the gully and it just flows away naturally. So that water is, whilst we think of washing water as not being particularly hazardous, it is quite hazardous. In fact, we, our sh tests have shown that this water is actually more contaminated than the water in the Yixke in terms of E. coli, for example. So it, it's, that's one of the, the problems with the grey water. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to see is there a way for us to treat it in situ so that it doesn't just run through, that it actually gets somewhat purified. And we are getting some significant reduction in things like E. coli, but the research is still ongoing. So what we see are a system of constructed wetlands. So the idea is you build a gravel bed and you put plants in it and the water flows through the gravel bed and as it flows through it, you establish a microbial consortium and the microbes kind of like eat, it, it really is the right word, they eat the different chemical components in, in the wastewater that we see. And the plants push things like food into the soil zone. They also provide microhabitats for these microbes. So ideally it's, it's an ecosystem and it's an ecosystem service that we're mimicking from a natural environment under really stressed conditions actually. The objective with this project is to try and solve some of these very difficult problems that we're going to have as, as a continent, not just as a country, as a continent, with increased urban population and not a lot of provision of, of civil services. This impacts everyone. The rivers flow through these communities and the, the, the wastewater travels down gradient and it impacts all, all of us equally actually. So that's the hope is that we can at least just somewhat decline that or reduce that amount of like impact to the environment. That's the hope. As well as we get to do really nice research which is meaningful, trying to solve a real world problem. And we have an impact in the communities that we work in, the, in the areas that we work in. For me, I just believe that <clears throat> people and the environment, um, it's a field that people, they don't really uh, take uh, a lot of interest in. So it's important to understand how people are living with the natural environments and the infrastructures that they are using. The experience here has been lovely. I, when I finished my master's, I was doing a project where I was the one who was leading it, but I told my supervisor that I've always wanted to be uh, in an interdisciplinary uh, kind of a setup. So when I saw that there were a lot of uh, fields in this, so I, I, I applied for it and then enjoyed it. And then the experience here has been a very, well, a very nice one because I get to meet people. I even met some of the people from where I'm coming from. So I feel like part of the community while I'm here. So I've always been interested in microbes what they can do for us um, and it's also really important to understand them so we can better improve vaccine quality and our, uh, our health system. You know it's really great to do something for the community. Um, being a microbiologist it's really good experience for me to understand how the bacteria works in a treatment system like this and uh, hopefully we get some good results that will improve water treatment strategies in South Africa. You know, just as an educational point of view, um, it's great to, to teach the local people here how uh, different water treatment strategies work. And um, hopefully we get some results here and we actually uh, can clean up some of their water for them.